I'm Coach Rios. For today's lesson, we're going to be going over the underhand roll. We're going to be using force for this lesson. Remember, force is a push or pull of the state of the motion of the body, but in this case, the ball. Also, there's life force, which is a slight push or pull, or there's high force, which is with greater power of a push or pull. We're also going to include distance because we want to knock down our cups down. Also, slightly height because of our cups, we're going to stack them up. Okay, so the equipment that we're going to need for today is 12 cups. Six cups will work and any type of ball, just not a pinball because it's going to be too light to knock down our cups. Also, for me, I have a softball or baseball, a regular ball, and socks so right now if you <clears throat> if you want to take off your stinky socks you can remember we grab both socks we put them together we find one opening and we begin to tuck in and we create our ball and here we go it is okay so we're ready so for our underhand roll, you're going to hold a ball with a hand that you color with. If you color with your left hand, hold the ball in your left hand. If you color with your right hand, hold the ball in your right hand. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so for your full placement, if you color with your right hand, you're going to take a step forward with your left leg. This is a side view of how your leg should be. Take a step forward and then you roll. If you color with your left hand, you're going to take a step forward with your right leg, bend your knees. This is a side view. Already you bend your knees, step forward, and then you roll. Okay, so now I have my 12 cups. Now we're going to set them up. Remember, this is the bottom, this is the top. So bottoms will be placed down only three but now the tops are gonna be placed on top and we're gonna do this for all of them bottoms go placed down tops are flipped over placed on top And then one in the front, the bottom goes placed down, and then the top is flipped over on top. This is how our setup should look like for our bowling pins. Alright, so let's say that you don't have 12 cups, but you're like, Ms. Rios, I have 6 cups. Then that's fine. You're going to stack them the same way. The middle one could be placed forward, and these two on the side. Or let's just say that you only have 2 cups. That's fine. You could just have one tower right there. Or if you just have one cup, that's fine. You could just have your one cup there and you could roll the ball and make sure it gets knocked down. If we don't have cups that match or that are the same height, that is okay. We will just set them up in this format. Okay, I already have my setup ready. My cups are in three, two, one. I'm in front of them, I take a step back, I have the ball on my hand with a color I color with, my left leg, I'm going to take a step forward, my right one, I'm going to bend my knees, my arm, I'm going to swing back, remember force, arm back, and then we roll. Okay, so I already reset my cups again, I'm at the one step back. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take another step back, same thing, left leg forward, bend your knees, bring your arm back, and then we're going to roll, bring the cups down, and then again, after we, re we reset the cups back, we're going to take another step back, so this distance is pretty far now, same thing, left leg forward, bend your knees, bring your arm back, and we roll. 